Ruto niarekitie kana niarekite ishere ni ria kiwira ria thiku idato florine wa Ghana Korea agere iruoko koruo ake agekira kirore girimiti shawi guitha nyo na ato Korea florine osho Oho Korea agere iruo kore kere ria domire ria kekigo manoine kia ojo ria kege kuruhania aigithi ya mafrorine maya mere Minister Munene naure nawe Minister wa maodomaja wa flori nawe Musali Abudavandi domire ria niake ni ato gire tio nyita niri ni wakana ni ato ni ato gire te onyita niri wa ihida iraya katakate gafrori wa kenya na frori wa gana akiuga ni wakiri te te guata niro katakate kama frori maya oho ni atitari te te wedi wa frori wa kenya hali kwa giri te onyita niri wake na frori oyo korea awe tete imwe wakiri te kana giri miti ili ya maigua nire hali ni hamwe na shia uremi wajoria uge digi thomo katakate kama agi Kenya and Ghana enjoy cordial relations which can be traced back to pre, the pre-independent struggle period that was characterized by the struggle for self-rule and independence when respective liberation movements drew inspiration from one another within the spirit of Pan-Africanism. Engagement such as this is indicative of our respective countries' joint commitment to strengthen bilateral relations through dialogue and the sharing of expertise and knowledge in the different areas of endeavor. I acknowledge the bond of friendship that happily exists between Ghana and Kenya, dating back to our first president, Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and President Jomo Kenyatta, both of blessed memory. The two great leaders have been described by historians as anti-colonialists, pan-Africanists, and drivers of unity in the history of Africa, whose paths crossed at Manchester in 1945 during the planning of the Fifth Pan-African Congress. And despite their individual ideological differences, they were united in the quest to liberate their respective countries and the, West, and the rest of Africa from colonial rule. It is gratifying to note that this year marks 